Hello, my name's Joanne. I'm one of the midwives and lactation consultants working at the Breastfeeding Centre. Uh, and I'm here today with the lovely Sarah uh, to demonstrate how to use an electric breast pump. Hi Sarah, thanks Hi. for coming in and helping us. So today uh, we're going to be using the Symphony pump, uh, which is this yellow pump that you can see here. This particular pump has uh, a program called the Maintain program. So that's what we're going to use today. We need a little bit of equipment to be able to use the pump. So we have some caps and membranes. Okay, they fit into the top of the pump here and they just snap in there. And then we just close the lid. So those um, caps and membranes can be accessed, um, Sarah, if you need to, by just pressing this oval button on the top. Mm -hmm. Once they're in there, you probably won't really need to do anything with them because they should just sit in there. But if you notice that the lid's lifting, then you can um, turn the pump off press that button, lift the lid up, pop them in a little bit more firmly and close the lid. Um, now just a little bit of a housekeeping thing while I'm, I'm thinking about this. Um, we do need to make sure that we clean all of our equipment, okay? And um, we do that after every use. The only bits of equipment though that you actually won't need to clean, and that's because they're not coming into contact with any breast milk, is the caps and membranes mm -hmm. and the tubing. But all the other, uh, uh, equipment that you see here does need to be cleaned after every use in ho with hot soapy water. Sure. Okay, so give it a good scrub with a um, detergent and a bottle brush. Yes. Rinse all the soapy water off and then put, just place it on a clean towel. Mm -hmm. Takes about an hour to air dry, so okay. it's a good idea to clean it as soon after you've used it as you can, then it's ready for the next time that you need it. Okay, so of course, not only do we need to have clean equipment, but clean hands, and I know you've washed your hands before, ha yes. before coming in, so making sure that you always wash your hands. Um, so then what we need to do, I might just get you to pop that one in, yeah. in that side. So uh, the end of the tubing goes into the connector there. And this is the older equipment. So it's got a bright yellow um, end piece to it and it's kind of triangular in shape. So it will only fit into those types of caps and membranes. If you're having to pump regularly or you're trying to get your breast to make more milk, we would get you to pump both breasts at the same time because it's a much more efficient way to pump mm -hmm. your breasts um, and it's much more effective about building in terms of building milk. Okay, so there's a couple of other bits of uh, equipment that need to go together. Mm -hmm. So you've got a little white valve and a yellow membrane. So the white valve gets pressed firmly into the little yellow valve there. Mm -hmm. And then that fits into this little uh, connector piece. Uh, and then your shield fits into the, 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 that bit there. Perfect, excellent, okay. And then of course, we need to connect a bottle onto that. So if you want to just pop that bottle onto there, perfect. And then you connect the connector into, there's a little hole at the very base there that that tubing connects into. Okay, so now that's one complete set for one breast. Yes. And then obviously if we're pumping both breasts, we would need to set up them two. So I'll just quickly pop that one on for you with your other shield. Now you might notice here, just for our demonstration purposes, mm -hmm. that I have different size shields. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in order of ascending size, uh, 21, 24, 27, 13, 36. So the right size is the size that comfortably fits you, where you don't get any rubbing or chafing and where milk flows free, freely. So we've worked for you that that's a 27. Yes. Okay, yep. So what I'll get you to do, if you don't mind, is to just place those over your breasts, mm -hmm. making sure that you center the shield over your breast so that the nipple is sitting centrally into that little tunnel mm -hmm. there, okay? Because we, the reason for that is that we want even suction pressure over your breasts. Mm -hmm. That's the way, you're right. Now I might give you a little hand here if that's okay, yes, since you've course. got both hands a bit busy at the moment. 
So um, Sarah, you can see that the um, pump has a few buttons here. The, this button here is the on off button. The one in the middle, the knob in the middle, increases and decreases the suction pressure. Yeah. So if I wanted to increase the suction pressure, I would turn it clockwise. Yes. If I wanted to decrease it, I'd turn it in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. This button here that's got a little milk drop symbol on it is what we call a bypass button. Mm -hmm. Okay, So all that is is it will change between the two different sucking actions mm -hmm. that the pump does. So initially when we turn it on, and are you okay if I turn that on? Yes. Okay, so initially when we turn it on, it starts with a stimulatory sucking action, which mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little milk drop symbol there. Mm -hmm. Now every time I turn the pump on and off, there'll be three little drops. Mm -hmm. That's actually not its lowest setting. Okay. We can turn it down to one, mm -hmm. all right? So the suggestion is that you start at a lower pressure and slowly turn the pressure up mm -hmm. until you reach whatever is the highest comfortable pressure for you yes. and comfortable is really the important word yes. there okay there's we don't really want to turn it up super high because mm -hmm. if we turn it up really high and it's hurting you um, you're not going to get a very good letdown response mm -hmm. so and that's where the milk's running obviously so I'm going to slowly turn that pressure up and I'll just get you to tell me when it's at the level that's mm -hmm. comfortably high enough for you Okay, so we're just slowly, slowly turning it up. So what we're waiting for is for you to get a letdown or for the milk to start to flow. Mm -hmm. Now, if I were to do nothing to this pump, it would do this sucking action for the first two minutes um, and then it will automatically switch over to a longer, stronger sucking action, which is what we term the extraction yes. sucking action. Mm -hmm. That's to get the milk out. And what you'll notice when that happens is that that little milk drop will symbol will change to a bar symbol, okay? So if we, you're turning it on and at home you put it on and, and very quickly you get a letdown as you're just starting to get yes. now, mm -hmm. you may not need to stay on this for the full two minutes that the pump will do. Mm -hmm. You might actually be able to switch it over to that extraction uh, sucking action a little bit more quickly. Yes. So we can see for, at the moment both your breasts, you're starting to have a little bit of a letdown now so we're getting milk to flow. Fantastic, yes. well done. <laughs> so technically we don't need to really stay on this one any longer. So so what I do, because this pump does sometimes jump up a little bit, it's part of the program and I don't want it to be too high and sore yes, for you, or it's yeah, done it itself, it has, yeah. um, it's just jumped over now. But if it hadn't, let's just say you were still on the stimulatory and you got a letdown and you were ready to turn it over, mm -hmm. this is the button that you would use yeah. to do so. So can you hear the difference in the sucking action? That's a bit longer and stronger. Yes, yeah. And can you feel that on your breast? I can, yeah. I probably need it turned down. Down, yes, a little bit too yeah. high. It does <laughs> jump up there. We don't want it to be too yeah. sore. Mm -hmm. So does that feel comfortable? That does, yes. yes. Yeah. And we're getting free movement of your nipple into the shield mm -hmm. there, so that's fantastic. And we're getting a nice flow of milk. So mm -hmm. while the milk is flowing well, as it is now, I would just leave it on that sucking action. But if you notice after a little bit of time that the milk isn't flowing quite as quickly and freely, mm -hmm. um, what you can do is just press this button again yes. and take it back to the stimulatory action. Now the reason I'm suggesting you do that um, is because we want your breast to have another letdown sure. before we then switch it back to the longer, stronger one to get the milk out. And the mm -hmm. reason I'm suggesting to do that is because what we're trying to do with the pump is use it to mimic what the baby does when they suck at the breast. Mm. So when your baby feeds, she would get you to have multiple letdowns while, during the time that she's feeding. So that's kind of what we're trying to do with the pump. Okay, All right, so once it's flowing a bit better again, then we would go use that button and go back to the extraction. Okay, wonderful. Does that make sense? That does, thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Um, okay, so we're going to want to be um, pumping probably for about, as an average guide, about 10 to 15 minutes, but mm -hmm. really for as long as it takes for your breast to feel softer, lighter, and not have any lumps in there. Mm -hmm. um, if you find that you've been double pumping for that time, one breast feels really nice and soft, there's no lumps, mm -hmm. but um, the other breast has got a little bit of uh, a lumpy area in it, mm -hmm. um, then you could take one off and just do each breast singly for about five minutes. Okay, sure. And then with your free hand, just use it to gently, and I do mean gently, yes. um, rub over that little 
uh, lumpy area mm -hmm. and then gently towards your nipple whilst you're pumping and that will help to to get that that uh, lump to, to uh, clear mm -hmm. and the milk to start to flow a little bit more free, uh, freely and easily again okay, all right so i'm just going to turn that off now mm -hmm. okay well done